It will be Arlene Jaime working from the Speaking to Inform manual, the demonstration talk. She's going to be speaking for five to seven minutes with two to three minutes for Q&A afterwards. And this is on the magic of chroma key. Take it away, technical wizard, Arlene. Thank you, David. Can you see my desktop? We can. Okay. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, welcome to the magic of chroma key. Using SparkoCam software that turns your webcam into a virtual web camera. It functions just like a normal camera, plus it adds a bit of magic. It transmits live footage, replacing the background with pictures or video. Chroma key, also known as green screening, basically it replaces a key color in an image. As you see, I use blue. Green doesn't like my hair. You can use any color. I don't recommend blue if you have blue eyes. You will be amazed at how simple and easy it is to make magic with chroma key. I'm going to talk about three basic elements. The first two apply to all online video presence. They're fundamental whether you are using SparkleCam or not, whether you are chroma keying or not. First and foremost is the light source. You hear a lot about lights, and all I can tell you is what works for me. And I'll share what I learned after much trial and error. I use three light sources totaling 66 watts, 5,900 lumens. I have two of these 12 watt LED desk lamps. You see the base, the gooseneck, and the face of the light is about the same size as my face. There's two of them positioned three feet away, one at 10 o'clock and one at two o'clock. Both are shining on a white wall three feet in front of me and the light bounces off the wall and floods this little area where I'm sitting. The third source is one 42 watt LED four foot long shop light, 3,700 lumens, and it's up there recessed in the ceiling about six feet to my right. LED lights are cool, bright, and efficient, have extra long life. They cost more than others, but they pay for themselves if you live long enough because they don't burn out. <laughs> the second element is the camera, whether it's built in or external. Get to know your camera. Look at the settings over here to, my, to the left of my picture. And we're on the tab devices. You can hook up a Canon or a Nikon, Nikon, and this is webcam. I happen to have a Logitech C910, looks like this. They were cheap when we bought them in 2011. They're pricey now, but there's a whole range and a lot of different choices if you want to go with the external camera. If you look right here underneath that, under resolution, I picked 1280 by 720. It's the optimum resolution for high definition. And also this screen that I'm sitting in is 1280 by 720. So I can play with that and see what you're seeing. Get familiar with your camera controls. Oh, what if you don't have camera controls? I have a little laptop over here and it doesn't have any controls. This is where Sparko Cam makes magic, starts to make magic. We'll go to the second tab where it says effects and you see transform. This control of the virtual camera, you can use it with a desktop, external camera, whatever kind of camera you want to use. And what you can do with this, you can go left and right, you can go in and out. I'll go all the way out and you can see my screen back here. Blue, it's reversible, the other side is green. 
It's about five by seven. And you position yourself where you want to be, about in the middle, equal distance between your head and your chin, the bottom. You just play with that until you have it. Now remember I said that anything blue becomes part of the picture. You come to the controls of the green screen and you can have the, the software pick it for you or you can pick it yourself. So you click on pick and you get a little eyedropper and you go around here and you pick a blue that is suitable. Oh, I'm in Cusco. <laughs> Remember that little blue claw? Check this out. Here's the magic of chroma key. If I was wearing blue or had blue eyes, be part of the picture. Now, the hardest part, most challenging aspect of all of this are all these controls right here. If you have good lighting, you hardly have to fiddle with it at all. But if you don't have good lighting, you have to play with Six these minutes. back and forth. You, there's advance. You can, you can tweak and fine tune all day tomorrow and next week. If you mess it up, just return it to default. Like I said, the better the lighting, the less the adjusting. A lot of you have asked how I have done some of the timing lights and things. Well, you see all these different effects, image, text, for there's all these different effects, and you can put them in layers. I'm running out of time, but I'm going to load a preset. You save a preset of all the different layers that you make, and then you load it, and I'm going to show you this little timing light that I had for Star Wars. Okay, and you see down here at the bottom, I'm going to peel these off. When you get a green light, you get a yellow light, Seven minutes. red light. Oh, you went over time. <laughs> and let's go back to Cusco very quickly. And that, that my friends, is the magic of Sparkle Camp. Mr. Toastmaster, David, do you want to help out with the Q&A? Sure. Anybody who would like to ask a question, please just unmute yourself and go for it. As long as we don't trip over each other, I think we've got a small enough group. People can probably just speak up and ask their questions. Um, the first question, uh, I guess, from me is, how much does it cost? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm glad you asked because I'm going to copy, paste... Um, what I have here about everything I just showed you, the lights, the screen, and Sparkle Cam itself. In answer to your direct question, Sparkle Cam is $40 for one and $100 if you get five. So let me put this into the chat. Where'd the chat go? Oh no, I lost my chat. Oh dear, where did my chat go? That's all right. In the fullness of time, put it in there. Yes, yeah. okay. After okay. You can do it afterwards. You, you might not be able to see it when you're sharing the screen. I guess. Ah, maybe that's where it went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we outfox ourselves pretty quickly. I guess my, there's a couple of questions in the chat. How do you spell the name of the product? That'll be when I copy and paste it. It'll have a link to it, and you can see it's S-P-A-R-K-O. It's up here. See? Sparko Cam. Right up here at the top left. I'll have links to that. You had a question, David? I guess I was wondering about how to, I guess you use it, you're using it mostly for fun. You, you have used it for timing. Uh, are, are there other things where you think that it could actually help enhance a speech, enhance your delivery? Have you had, have you had a chance to put that to the test so far? Well, uh, I don't know that you could be doing a screen share like this if you didn't have something like this. For instance, I want to eventually 
do a PowerPoint without doing this, uh, having it embedded in my video Two minutes. so that I don't have to do a screen share. I believe that that's what, um, I can't John? think of it. John, I think that's what John screen. did one day, I believe, because he was in there with it. He didn't it's use the screen handle. share. I think he actually had what I want to do, um, and that's to do the PowerPoint. You just have to get the green screen behind you. Um, quick question from me, if I can, uh, Arlene. Can you run video in the background? Because that's something that I could actually see really. Yes, I have done it before. Actually, I had my... Parents or Italy or something you've done before. Somebody... You where you've been, and you can turn it back on. Scott. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. Anyway, uh, I did that one time. I had a video of my backyard on a kind of a windy day and the leaves were moving. I wasn't actually sitting on the porch. <laughs> right. yeah, some of us do. Thanks. Well, I can imagine Graham doing a, a travelogue perhaps with photos projected it's behind him. While he's that was exactly what I was <laughs> All right. Okay, we're done. I think we're out of time.